New Jersey's governor says there's no way to sugarcoat these numbers. They're not good and trending worse. So far, so in hospitals nationwide, a surge in patients and stress. I've held their hand while they've taken their last breath. I have the fear of bringing something back to my family. Debbie White is a registered nurse and president of the largest health care union in the state of New Jersey. I woke up this morning with a picture in my brain um, of being on a railroad track and watching a speeding train coming toward us, having no ability to move off the track or to stop that train. The HBAE union points to OSHA citations against employers it says failed to protect workers during the first surge. This is like deja vu for us. It's happened before. It's happening again. White says some hospitals are telling workers who've been exposed to COVID-19 but are asymptomatic that they must come to work. South Jersey's largest provider, Virtua Health, tells NBC10 it will work with the union to review its concerns and says its policies are rooted in colleague and patient safety. Governor Phil Murphy is also raising a staffing alarm. There is little or no capacity of health care workforce right now anywhere. In the spring, New York and New Jersey brought health care workers in from other places. This time, those other places are dealing with their own COVID spike. History repeating itself is taking a mental health toll on the workforce, too. PTSD is real. It is real. And it's not only nurses. It's everyone that worked in the hospital during March and April uh, are having some issues with the anxiety related to what they went through. These workers are trained to deal with traumatic situations, but even for them, sometimes it can be too much. The state says universities and organizations have set up counseling centers as well as outreach services to respond to this crisis. In Cherry Hill, I'm Drew Smith, NBC 10 News. Count on it.